outfit that I have here. Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul for you guys. So this haul is sponsored by Shein, but that in no way affects my opinions on the clothes whatsoever. I've done a lot of these and actually I've had both hits and misses with them. So I'll always tell you guys like it is. You guys know that I've done a lot of these, so you guys know the drill by now. But yeah, also I have a coupon code for you guys if you wanna save a little bit of money. Um, doesn't benefit me directly at all whatsoever. It's just really for you guys to get a good deal. So with that being said, let's just get right into it. Let's go with the big box right here. Um, in a different change of scene today because I'm actually at my new place. We haven't fully moved in yet, but if you guys wanna see the empty apartment tour, it'll be up in the cards here. So you're gonna see this pair of pants in like a lot of the try on bits in this and they are these amazing army green pants. They are just wide leg and cool. They remind me of something Billie Eilish would wear. I think they're dope. They fit super well and I got them in a size small for anyone who is wondering. I just can't wait to wear something really girly on top. I love having that contrast between like something a little bit more edgy on the bottom and then something very feminine on the top. So I love those. They fit super well lengthwise as well. Um, I'll have all my measurements also in the description box if you guys need a reference. The next thing I have here is this little off the shoulder top and like how freaking cute is this? Like so girly, so dainty, and I actually got this in a medium, but I would have probably preferred a small. The only thing is, is that they didn't have a small, so I decided to go with the medium because I find that their sizing is always a little bit on the smaller side, but for this one, I would say it's true to size. I don't fill out the bust area of this very well, so I'd have to like tape myself in in order for it to be a more wearable going out shirt. The next thing I have here is a set, and I actually took a picture in this on my Instagram a few days ago, but I ended up archiving it. And do you guys wanna know why? Because the bottom is so see-through, you can see my black underwear right through it. So I wouldn't say this is a good like thing to actually go out in unless you are going to line or wear like actual nude shorts underneath. But it's this set and it's really affordable. I really like the top and because I have it, I'll wear it, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend this one because of the sheer issue. I guess that's a chance you take when you buy something white. So I'm glad I didn't actually go out in this because we would have had a big Big problem there but I'll wear the top because I have it but the skirt I'll have to figure something out next few tops I have here are all super cute I'm really into eyelet delicate dainty tops right now the first one I have here is just a simple eyelet one it buttons in the front and ties I love the little fabric on this too I just think it's so pretty and it's lined double in the bust area which is really great um, I think that this is so nice, again, with a pair of like cargo shorts or cargo pants. It's gonna look so cute. And then I also got this one here, and this one's probably my favorite by far. This looks like something that you could buy at Zara. The quality is really good. It's double lined in the bust area. Once again, has the smocking on the waistline, which is so, so flattering on everybody. And then has a little tie here, just in case the V-neck is a little too much. Um, I've worn this with no bra and it's been like not a problem at all But you could definitely wear this with sticky boobs as well if you want a little bit more coverage I also got this little cute top from Shein. This one buttons in the front like this It's a little like kind of ruffly sleeve at the end I thought that this would be really cute for festival season So if anyone is going to any festivals this summer, I think that this could be a really cute little option Again with a pair of like cargos or like a really baggy jean I think that this will look super sweet also reminds me a lot of things Things at Brandy Melville. I have three sweaters here. Let's start with the one that you're probably wondering about. And I actually wore this in my empty apartment tour. So it's just this bright pink sweater. It's that chenille fabric, which is so, so soft on. I thought that this would be a good transitionals piece because it's still kind of chilly in Toronto. But at the same time, I really want to start wearing more color and I want to feel a little bit more, I guess, springy. So I think that this is really nice. I also have this in black and it washes really well, which is why I decided to get it but I just think that this color is so like standout and such a statement. So I want to try it out and work with more color in my wardrobe. So we're working with pink today. I also have this little wrap sweater. You guys know I love wrap sweaters. Um, I find them also a really good transitional piece when going into the spring and warmer weather. So you can throw this over a dress or over a skirt or even over one of those little tanks and you'll be good to go. 
that's why I picked this up. I know that this is a really good basic. And then the next thing I picked up, this is always me when you're buying online. I feel like sometimes you don't realize the fabric until you actually get it in person. So this is a little shrug and I had no idea it was gonna be like this Christmas sparkle tinsel type of stuff. And when I saw it, I was like, yeah, this is so not me. But I tried it on and I actually kind of like it. Um, I think this is gonna be really fun for an event or over like the right dress or right top. It made me feel very much like, you know that Britney Spears, I'm not a girl, not yet a woman video. Like this is so something that kind of reminds me of her look in that. I also picked up a few accessories I want to show you guys. This is just a little kind of braided macrame bag. You guys know you can't go wrong with these in the summertime. I also picked up this headband, which has this like oriental textile on it. And I thought that this would be really cute with the right look. Um, again, Gossip Girl was like my favorite show ever when I was in high school and university. So this is a very much a tribute to Blair Waldorf. If you guys want me to do a Gossip Girl style video, let me know because I'm loving headbands lately, you guys know. So I also got a pair of those little pearl barrettes. I know that they could be so expensive on other websites, so I want to show you guys here. Um, this is the picture of them. I don't have them on me, but they look exactly like they do on the website. And plus they're really inexpensive. I know that they're really expensive on a lot of other websites. So I want to give you this option if you guys are trying to hop on that Instagram trend. And let's move on to the shoes. So you guys have been seeing in a lot of these try on things. I've been wearing these chunky sneakers and I got these on Shein. I got a size 38 and realistically should have probably went with the 37. I normally wear a size six and a half, but I've had issues with their sizing before, which is why I decided to size up. But I would say these are true to size. The only thing I didn't love when I got them is like they are slightly shiny. So they have like a sparkle to them, which I kind of hate, but you can't see it from very far. And honestly, I think that they're still really fun. I'm gonna wear them because I have them, but just be weary of the glitter. Now we have all the dresses and the jackets. So let's go with the jackets first because I want you guys to sound off and let me know which one you like better because I got two. So I have two of the same jacket here because I just wasn't sure which one I liked more. I didn't know that they were going to send me both. So I have two now. The first one has this like little shearling on it with a corduroy kind of fabric. And then this one's just like plain corduroy. They remind me of the jackets at Brandy Melville right now, which are just like super easy to throw on and look great with everything. And I love this kind of burnt brown color. So let me know which one you guys like more. They're both like very, very cozy. I would say the one without the shearling collar is a little bit more on the warm side. So just keep that in mind if you guys are looking to purchase that. I also got this dress here. I actually wanted this dress at Zara guys and I know they always have dupes on Shein or they use the same manufacturer or there's something going on. Cause I saw this dress at Zara a few months ago. I wanted it, but it was 60 or $80. Didn't pick it up, but they had the same one on Shein. I think the cut is a little bit different on this one because I found it very loose in the waist, but very tight in the hip area. So I don't know if the proportions are off, but I love it. I think I wanna wear it with a sneaker and like a big chunky sweater on top. I think it's gonna look really, really pretty. And I just love this like washed tie-dye look right now. I think it's really, really something. I also got this like little house on the prairie dress. <laughs> it's very pioneer like, but kind of into it. It reminds me of things that you can find at Reformation right now. Again, with just a chunky sneaker, I think this could be really fun and a leather jacket. I also picked up this little pink number and I love the little cutout here. I think it's really girly and super feminine. Again, with a layered with gold necklaces, a Doc Martin, a leather jacket. I think that's totally how I would style this one. This one is a little bit on the shorter side, but I'm 5'5". Five five. If you're any shorter than me, this would be probably a little bit better for you. I love, love this dress, guys. This is probably my favorite dress. I posted an Instagram in it and you guys have been asking me where I got it from. Yes, it's from Shein, so it's super affordable. I love like the fit of it. The smocking on the back makes it so comfortable. And I love lavender right now. I just think it's really, really feminine and pretty and just not an overdone color at the moment. This is just super cute. It would look great with combat boots, look great with sneakers, look great with a really strappy sandal. That is definitely this kind of dress. I also got this leopard dress. This is so pretty on. I think I'm gonna wear it with Doc Martens. I know I'm a little bit repetitive in that respect, but I just feel like this is the type of dress you wear with Docs. I love it. it. Reminds me of Lauren Elizabeth a little bit. 
just super super cute good leopard dress you can't pass up on i just think it's really sweet love the sweetheart neckline think it's super flattering last dress i have here is actually this slip dress is polka dot and just really really pretty i think it's gonna look so good with so many different outfits it's definitely a type of dress that you could wear like a number of different ways dress up dress down whatnot um, the polka dots make it really fun and I can't wait to style this for you guys I think this is going to be one of those things that I'm going to be wearing a number of different ways to a number of different functions And then the last thing I kind of want to show you guys was it's really random But I've never picked up these things from Shein like ever before But I travel a lot and I thought that these would be really handy So the first thing I got was actually this little pink pouch So you open it up like this and you can put in all your toiletries It hangs from the door and they're super super affordable on there So if you need to top off your order for free shipping or whatever i think that these are kind of worth it it also comes with this little top part so i could pack in all my cosmetics which i think is awesome i also got the little passport holder which i think is really cute i love the blue and you open it up and inside there's like more pockets and like a place to put your pen and stuff like that i think that these are really handy and super affordable for travel and then I also picked up these mesh things and they have like words on them. They're kind of weird, but like they say beauty on one side, a handsome on the other. And like the smell of plastic is just like appalling. Like I would probably not get this. I just think the plastic smell is really, really bad. I don't know if I'll be able to wipe it down and make it work, but the plastic smell in this is so strong versus the other two. So I think I may have to wipe this down, but yeah, which kind of is unfortunate because these are really, really handy. They're so good for chargers and any like electronics and you can see in them it's just, you know, I love these things, but that's a little unfortunate. But guys, that is everything I got from Shein this time around. So overall, I think I scored. Let me know what you guys liked and what your favorite piece was. Also, if you want to head on over to my Instagram, I would absolutely love to have you there because that's where I style most of my everyday looks. And with that being said, I'm going to go, but I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.